Earlier, we looked at mixing problems without inflow of salt. However, non-zero inflow of salt is also an isolated non-separable differential equation. However, this resulting differential equation turns out to be linear, so we are now able to solve the mixing problem also with non-zero inflow. I will do so in this video. So, let's uh, uh, revisit the mixing problem. We had dv dt equals rate in minus rate out, some given initial volume in our tank. We had dm dt equals rate in times c in minus rate out times c out. And because we are well mixed, our c out equals m of t over v of t and some initial mass. Then we have to give some numbers uh, in this explicit example. So 60 cubic meter per second as rate in, rate out 4 cubic meters per second. So tank uh, becomes fuller. Now we have some non-zero in that concentration, 20 kilograms per cubic meter, some initial volume of 10 cu cubic meters, and some initial mass of 350 kilograms, which is again the amount of salt which you find typically in salt water. Uh, so what happens to the uh, amount of salt as a function of time? So let's see. First, the balance equation for the volume. dv dt equals 6 in minus 4 out equals 2. We can integrate. We get v of t equals 2t plus a constant, and we determine that constant using the initial volume of 10. So v of t equals t 2 times t plus 10. That's the volume. Mass balance is slightly more complicated. dm dt equals rate in times c in, rate times of, in of 6 times c in of 20 equals 120, well that part is fine of course, minus rate out of 4, so we get a minus 4, times m, so we get our m, divided by v, and we just divide our v as 2t plus 10. So dm dt equals 120 minus 4m over 2 times t plus 10. We can bring this term over here to the left hand side, and then we observe that we have a linear differential equation uh, for m, dm dt equals some function of t times m equals some function of t on the right hand side, 120. So we can use our integrating factor method. So first we have to determine our i of t, our integrating factor. So how do we do that? We have to integrate p with respect to t and put it in an exponent. Well, the uh, antiderivative of 1 over 2t plus 10 equals the 1 half times the ln of 2t plus 10 with the additional factor of 4, gives you 4 times 1 half equals 2 times the ln of 2t plus 10. Uh, and you can put the 2 over here. You really have to simplify your integrating factors whenever you can. So you get e to the power ln 2t plus 10 squared, which is of course just 2t plus 10 squared, because the e and the ln cancel each other out. Third step, multiply our full equation by the integrating factor, so e times m prime plus uh, 2t plus 10 squared times 4 divided by 2 times 2t plus 10, so we keep our 4 and one factor of 2t plus 10 cancels out, and on the right hand side we just get 120 times our integrating factor. And the trick step, we can rewrite our left hand side as a single derivative, we get a d dt of i times m equals right hand side, you just keep the right hand side, and check of course, always check this, uh, whether this step from 3 to 4 is correct, by differentiating this left hand side using the product rule, so you differentiate uh, this term, first differentiate the uh, first part, you get a 2 times 2 times 2t plus 10 times change factor 2 times m, uh, and then you leave this part times m prime, and indeed you see you get this term plus that term. So this step is correct. Uh, so we are over here. Now we can integrate the left hand side with respect to t, and we can integrate the right hand side with respect to t. That's what we do over here. So we uh, integrate the some ddt with respect to t, uh, and uh, and. That's the left hand side, that's easy because the integral and the ddt cancel out, so we get uh, 2t plus 10 squared times m. And we also have to integrate the right hand side with respect to t, 
Well, you can uh, use a substitution rule, for example, 2t plus 10 equals u, or you see immediately that uh, this yields one third times 2t plus 10 uh, cubed times one half, so 1 over 6 times the 120 we still had here, so 20, and so integration constant c. So we integrated the left hand side, we integrated the right hand side, those two have to be equal, so left hand side equals right hand side over there. And then we want to solve for m, so m of t equals 20 times 2t plus 10, uh, plus integration constant divided by 2t plus 10 squared, and we can uh, determine the c by the m0, 350 kilograms, so if you uh, put in uh, t equals 0, over here you get a 200, over here you get 350 from the initial condition, so 150 has to be equal to c over 100, so c equals 150 times 100 is the big number over there, uh, which gives you your uh, m as function of t. So uh, now we also solve our mixing problem with some non-linear, with some non-zero inflow.